Hey guys, today is Tuesday, October 6th, and this is page 64. We're going to be going over pages 64, 65, and 66 in your reader's notebook. This page deals with consonant blends, R, L, and S. We're going to sort our spelling words by the consonant blends. One of the words belongs in two groups. I'm going to circle that so that I know. Okay, one of the words belongs in two groups. So it has both blends. It has either an R and an L blend, an R and an S blend, or an L and an S blend. So let's start. We have our spelling words here, and then we have a couple review words that we need to put in here also. Spin. S-P-I-N. It's an S blend, that S-P. If you want, you can go ahead and underline all of your blends. That way you can see them, okay? Now, I want you to not cross these out or circle them because we're going to use another one twice, okay? So, you can just put a little check mark beside of it to let you know that you've used it once. Clap. It's a C-L blend. So, C-L-A-P goes in the L blends. Grade. The G and the R. It's an R blend. So when you're doing this, look for two consonants that are placed together and see if one of those consonants is an R, an L, or an S. So swim. The two consonants together are S, W, and the only ones that we're doing are R, L, and S. So it goes in the S column because it has an S in its blend. Okay. Coming down to the bottom, it says write a spelling word that fits each sentence below. This spelling word has an S blend at the beginning. So you have two, three, four, five, four of your spelling words to choose from because we don't want to count the review words down here, only up here. So I'm going to choose skin. S-K-I-N. Then choose a spelling word with an S blend at the end. Okay, do that one on your own. Um, pause this video so that you can finish this page and then restart it when you're ready to go on to page 65. Page 65, we are making nouns plural. We have a singular noun and we're adding S on all of these ones. <clears throat> we don't always add S on the end of nouns to make them plural. Sometimes we change the whole word. Sometimes we add ES. But for all of these, they have the rule where we just have to add S. Okay. Use plural nouns when you're talking about more than one. Add S to most nouns to name more than one. My cat drank milk is the singular. Cat. My cats drank milk. Cats is plural, which means more than one. Change the underlined noun to a plural noun. Write the new sentence. So on this one, we're actually going to write the sentence out. The pie sat on the table. So out from this, even though there's not a space, I'm just going to go ahead and put pies. Because all we have to do is add S to these words that are underlined, these nouns that are underlined, to make them plural. Then we copy. And when you copy, I want you to use neat handwriting. The pie sat on the table. Okay. I want you to pause this video and finish the rest of the page. When you're finished, turn, pause, unpause the video and turn to page 66. Page 66, we're dealing with our focus trait, sentence fluency, and time order words. Time order words are first, then, last, soon, next, tomorrow, later, last night, and today. Read each pair of sentences. Rewrite the sentences by adding the time order word given in parentheses. This right here. 
So the puppy was tired. You're gonna take two sentences and turn that into one sentence, adding then, okay? And whenever we do this, we add a comma. So we'll say the puppy sat down, or the puppy was tired, comma, then it sat down. You can pause this video if you need time to write this sentence because I know it takes a little bit longer to write sentences. When you're done, you can unpause and say, it was getting dark outside, it would be time to go home. It was getting dark outside. Okay, you don't always have to combine the sentences and make it into one sentence. These were baby sentences, and whenever you add then, sometimes you can um, combine the sentence. This one, I'm not gonna do that though. I'm gonna say, it was getting dark outside. Soon, comma, it, whoops, move my stand here, it, would be time to go home. This one I would do it the same way. The puppy stood up, period. Next, comma, it ran home. Then on the bottom, you're writing two sentences. Use at least one time order word. So you can use any of these words up here in this box to write your two sentences. Okay, and I can't wait to see them when you're finished.